Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope y'all doing good. We're up here at the landfill today. We're gonna run the old D6 a little bit today. We got a guy on vacation. So we're gonna get her checked out. Got a little wire wrapped up around the track. Got to get that out first. But the uh, amount of waste that's been coming in lately, y'all, has been insane. So we're gonna be busy, busy today. I think they did like a thousand tons yesterday. So we're gonna go down here, see if we can't keep this floor clean and keep the waste uh, going to, we're running two compactors now. It has just been that busy. Uh, they must have a lot of construction jobs going on around the Augusta area because it has just been insane lately. But we're gonna have fun today, man. Uh, hopefully the phone won't ring too much and we just get to run this bulldozer all day, which is really a treat for me nowadays. Um, it's kind of a break, believe it or not. So let's get this wire cut off right here. It's not around the sprocket, thank goodness, but we're gonna get it to take these uh, wire cutters right here, get this wire off of the uh, arm here and check her out and we're gonna get to work. So y'all put your boots on, let's get her checked out and let's go push some trash. Well, that was a big old wad of mess. Even got a darn hose pipe. All kind of junk stuck to it, but we got her out. Let's go get to work. All right, we got our oil checked. We got to set a good example for the guys. And let's go ahead and I forget how to release the door. Oh, there it is. All right, let's get this old girl fired up. Get some air condition going because it is going to be another scorcher today. Over 100 degree heat indexes and don't do any good unless you go turn the battery switch on. That ought to do something there y'all. Every day they turn the main battery switch off just for safety and fire danger. So let's get this big girl fired up. Oh yeah. There she goes. I've only ran this machine very little matter of fact it was in the video when we uh, we first bought her so today will be a good day for me to really get the feel for it and also just help out down below because it has been so daggone busy which is great but man sometimes it's just like overwhelming you know just the amount of trucks coming in here get our seat adjusted safety first you got to put on our seat belt and let's see here what we got to do this machine is a uh, pretty high tech touch screen up on the dash there. And we've got to take our park brake off. And then also when I click this button right here for the hydraulic lock, we should see that disappear and it did. So we're good to go. We're gonna sit here for just a second, let her warm up. And we're gonna head on down into the bottom and help the guys out. Well guys, we in it now, buddy, I tell you. I've been trying to film for like 20 minutes, but the trucks, they just won't quit coming. It's gonna be a busy day, but I wanna show you guys real quick. So what we've got here, and this load just got dumped out. This is a bunch of fire brick and fire blanket. They put in like boilers and any type of real hot applications. Real light stuff, easy to push. But what we're gonna be doing all day today is just keeping this dump floor clean right here. So the trucks will back up and dump right there. We're gonna push that material over to Mr. Mike who's down there on the 826C compactor. We got to fill in that whole corner down there. So we're just going to make it easier for him and just try to keep our, uh, our floor as clean as possible back here so trucks don't get flat tires and what have you. So I'll do the best I can to film today. I'm just going to strap y'all wherever I can and uh, we better get to work because there's more trucks coming around the bend.
guys I'm trying to do the best I can to film stuff for you but the trucks just keep coming in so damn fast till uh can't do a lot of commentating and I can't do a lot of moving the camera around so it's gonna do the best that I can but the amount of waste that we make as humans is just incredible a lot of the stuff that I'm running over right now all this wood and metal I mean again you know as I've stated in videos before we try to get out everything that we can and recycle as much as possible but it's just uh, I mean a thousand tons a day and we're a small landfill you know the mega landfills are doing five six seven thousand tons a day there's just no way to recycle it all man it's such a shame that we just bury all this stuff you know and until government steps in and says all right look guys you know you as a humans or as a uh, regional group y'all have to recycle and a lot of you know out west up north they do a great job at recycling much better than we do um, but until government steps in and says all right guys y'all have to recycle and that's the only way that it's going to force people to uh, to pay more unfortunately to get rid of their waste and the reason you have to pay more is because landfilling is the cheapest quickest solution as of right now just put it in a hole and bury it but when you have to go get the equipment to recycle all this material it, it just costs more money it takes more people it just the whole process just unfortunately cost more and so as long as there's a cheaper alternative i.e. landfilling and that's what people are gonna do unfortunate but that's the that's the dirty truth right there got us a big old load of concrete that just came in and this bulldozer, neither the compactor likes that kind of stuff because you really can't break it up. So it's going to be a rough ride here in a second. All we can do with it is just kind of tuck it up in this corner and cover it with other waste because you don't want to push that stuff too far because it really beats these tracks up and it eats the teeth up on the compactor too. We can break it up a little bit, but not... A, not as much as a, the cr concrete crusher would actually do. So it's kind of a pain in the butt over here in the landfill. We try to segregate it out and uh, direct straight concrete loads over to the actual crushing area. But this load snuck by, so now we got to deal with it. Well, we've got a truck dumping over here to our left. We've got an excavator right there. You gotta be on your toes all day long. Got a couple of loads of shingles that came in while we were just over there. It's just, it's madness, guys. I mean, there's just trucks everywhere, people everywhere, equipment everywhere. You gotta be on your game. But I tell you what, this camera sure does make it a whole lot easier to see what's behind you. Shingles bring in good weight to the landfill, but they're really hard to push, especially in the summertime. Like today, we'll have 110 heat index, and those shingles, all that petroleum and asphalt starts to melt together. And it's really hard to knock them apart, so we just have to kind of push the whole load. I'll just take the corner of my blade, stick it in there, and try to rip them apart so that we can spread them out a little bit better. right here is mainly cardboard so it'll be an easy one to push but it's hard to keep it all in front of the blade it likes to spill out to the left and to the right so what I'll usually do is come in and uh, 
try to hit it with half of my blade. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm talking about. I know it's kind of hard to see out that window, but really can't put you outside the machine because, well, would be our camera would be buried in no time, which I have lost a GoPro or two to the landfill gods. Had it clipped to the blade and was pushing trash and kind of forgot it was clipped to the blade, but uh, lost that one. But you can kind of see here maybe, just trying to take and push half of it at a time. And then I'll back up, move over a little bit, and then hit it again, and then we'll carry it on out there to Mike in the compactor. See what happens? When you hit it right in the middle, all the cardboard just spills out to the right and left of the blade. Kind of aggravating. Then you have to back up, move over, and do it again. The heavier stuff stays in front of the blade, but this light material, like cardboard and plastics, they just spill out everywhere. Then too, it likes to hang up on the tracks as you're going in reverse, and then it just spreads it out all over your clean floor, and then you have to push it again. Really aggravating. How about you, Mike? What you want me to try to do with all this uh, cable and conduit? A lot of that stuff, y'all, push it to the side, and um, we're pushing it out of town down the hill. All right, TN4. I'll maybe carry it up on top of that little knoll there, and we can kind of eat away at it. TN4, that'll work. Um, this orange tubing and black tubing, push it to the side, and uh, we'll push it out of town so I can cover it in a small piece at a time. That sounds like a plan to me, buddy. I'll do it to it. Yeah, so as you heard there, what we're going to try to do with this material, I'm just going to push it right up there, eat away at it a little bit at a time. Try to cover up that whole thing and it just will swallow the machine and get wrapped up. It's just a really, really aggravating material. But it's part of it. That stuff is a nightmare, especially you see that white pull string? That stuff is really tough, made for pulling cable miles and miles. If it gets wrapped up around the compactor wheels or these dozer tracks, it, uh, trust me, it is not fun. We just have to cut and cut and cut for hours to get that crap out of the tracks. Guys, I think we are about to get wet. They're calling for some nasty thunderstorms. So I just had to run up the hill to get our uh, time-lapse camera. Hopefully that footage turned out. I just had it up on top of this old dump truck here earlier today. But uh, it's the first break I've had, man. I tell you what, it has been wide open all morning long. Truck after truck after truck. That looks pretty wicked though, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to get on back down the hill real quick like, cause it is sure enough coming this away. That's a lot of rain too, so about to get sloppy. <laughs> well, here it comes folks. Marco's gonna jump up in this compactor that's down at the moment to stay dry. But uh, we still got a few customers here dumping out some shingles. They better sure enough hurry, but it doesn't look like they, they made it. 
or they're gonna get absolutely soaked, man. That was a bunch of rain in that uh, storm cloud coming this way. Hopefully it won't last too long because I've still got a whole bunch of work I gotta do. I feel so, so sorry for this poor lady out here. Man, she just made it about uh, 30 seconds too late, but man, it's blowing trash every which way. Bad thing too about being up on this hill is when that those storm fronts do come in, that wind starts whipping and it starts blowing trash every which way, but it is for sure here. Well, I guess it's time to go ahead and turn on our wipers and get back to pushing because even though the rain comes, the trash, it never stops. It just keeps coming all day long, you guys. I tell you what, I haven't been up here for an entire day in quite some time, but business has increased exponentially. I mean, the, the tonnage that's coming in right now is just, is just crazy. But it's good for business. But man, I mean, you don't even have time to get out and take a leak or nothing. It's just, it's that wide open. And uh -oh, hopefully this poor lady's not gonna get stuck right now because I really don't want to get out in this mess. There she goes, she put it in four wheel drive. She's pulling on now, now bless her heart, she's soaking wet. Feel bad for her out there, but not bad enough to get out in this mess. Is that wrong? Well, I just wanna be wet the rest of the day, man. I mean, you know, is what it is. So our buddy David, he's got the Hyundai 160 there with the magnet on the end. And uh, a lot of times these roofing companies like they just brought in all the shingles and that type of stuff bringing a lot of sheet metal too so he's magging that metal out real quick and then as soon as he gets out of the way we'll get over there and push those shingles just up on that little mound like we did earlier well i just had my whole floor clean now i've got six trucks i don't know if you guys can see for the rain but now i've got six trucks lined up and three loads on the ground Man, there was a big bolt of lightning. I don't know if we caught that on camera or not, but that was a big one. We got so many trucks on the tipping floor, I can't even get around them to come over here and push these loads. One of the trucks brought us a load of dirt right here. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is push all the trash out of the way of that dirt. And then we're gonna put that dirt over here on the working floor. We've got this really bulky fabric material that came in and it's kind of on a sketchy area right down here on a cliff. Don't get hung on my track. I'll right, we'll go to back up 
try again because we sure enough don't want that wrapping around our track but we're on a about a 15 foot sheer drop off it always gets a little bit sketchy when you're pushing this really soft material i'm trying to just get it over to the edge and compact it the best that i can and that's about as far as we can go right there without the dozier the weight of it going forward and then we got no choice but to go down and i don't really feel like going down a 15 foot cliff at least not not yet because it's friday and bad crap happens on a friday but we're just trying to walk this stuff in it can't get a lot of compaction to it so the best that you can do is just get it down at the bottom of your working face and then just try to get heavier material on top of it and just really you know, try to break some super heavy like concrete stuff down there we go that's what i was trying to do right there without us going down it and then what we'll do is go back up top and when we get some good material in we'll bring it down here and cover over this old soft non-compactable material or at least that's the plan anyway Did you see all those ribbons right there that's the crap that really likes to get wrapped around your track and if it gets tight and you get enough of those bands around there we've had to actually use the cutting torch to cut that fabric that stuff will get so bound up around there so there's just really you can't even hardly cut it all right stay off my track you just got to kind of keep working this stuff with the corner of your blade just trying to work it right on down the hill See, now we've got a problem because all that junk just wanted to wad up and it just uh, it just does not behave well at all. So now we've got a kind of a, a wave of this fabric that I've got to somehow push down without getting hung up in it and without finding any other holes that there might be up underneath it. So uh, I hate fabric. I'm just gonna try to keep sticking the corner of my blade into it and work it around and see if we can get it to fall off the cliff, but I feel the front of my dozer sinking a lot, so we've got a soft spot under us. So we've got to be real careful that we don't fall down into this mess. Better get back up to the top see if we had any trucks dump oh, we got a little lull that's the first time all day long so I was down there messing with that fabric crap but sometimes I get sidetracked and I start working it because you have to work it kind of slow so you don't fall off into it and then I forget that uh, I've got a job to do and then the radio will go off right and you got nowhere to dump trucks up here so um, you know, you just got to kind of fill your day with working with this trouble stuff. But today it's just been all pretty much on the tipping floor because we've had so many trucks coming in here. It's just been insane. I might try to hook the camera to the outside in just a second. Um, the rain seems to have stopped. That made things interesting. A little while ago, it really came down, man. High winds came through, ton of rain. Uh, but maybe I'll hook you guys on the outside here in just a second. But I'm just trying to go really slow and be careful and not fall off into a hole. Let's see, this is this is kind of what we've got. Uh, this is on the other, we're on the downhill side, of course, of that wall uh, felt. And I'm just trying to get it down into these voids without falling into them myself. So you just have to kind of ride the brake and go slow. And uh, back up and just keep keep pushing material. All right, GoPro, don't fall off. I'm going to step outside and see if I can find a spot to hook you guys so y'all can ride on the outside. These windows in here are so small. It's really hard to see. 
Okay, GoPro, you hang on out there. And I'm gonna try to talk to you guys too while I'm doing this. I've got this new DJI microphone and I think it'll work for up to a pretty good range. So hopefully it's working right now. But we're gonna go back down here. We've got one truck dumping up top, but I think we've got a few minutes where we can come down here and try to get this felt material, this fabric pushed over this edge right here. We just got to be careful that we don't go too far or get leaning too much like now. I'm going to back up. We're going to try that again. We got really, we're leaning way too bad on that one, guys. Let's maybe try over here on this side. See if we can work it from the top down. You just have to work it into small little increments. Push a little bit, let it fall over the edge, and then back up and move over and do it again. But man, that stuff is soft. We really don't need to be sideways like we are right now either. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn us. just fall over the edge but it just wants to hang up on itself and not fall and it just stays in this big giant wad it's so aggravating come on and then if we go too far then we fall off in the hole we can't back up and we can't go forward hate this felt material stuff just nothing else really to do with it now it's trying to get wrapped up all on the tracks stuff nightmares are made of y'all just can't do anything with it the blade all the way up the crap just wads up and will not fluff out but at least we got it to the bottom of the hill now i think what we have to do now is just bring trash down and cover it over there's not a whole lot more i can do with it well it's starting to rain again and the gopro kind of fell over i had y'all hooked up there on one of those light housings but the damn thing's so bumpy till there's no way it's gonna stay up there but while we have just a second for the next wave of trucks comes in i'll show you guys what i'm dealing with all of this bulky bulky crap it's already bailed up so it just pushes and wads up it forms these big old huge waves and i'm trying to get it down to the bottom of the slope but you can't hardly push it it's soft the dozer sinks in it wraps on the tracks I mean, it's just, uh, it's a nightmare. So I don't know what we're gonna do with it. I think I'm just gonna try to keep pushing, try to get it down to all of those big old rolls. And then we're just gonna have to bring good waste when we get it. Everything today seems to just be bulky junk, big rolls of plastic, all this uh, PET strapping, I've had bales and bales of super sacks, rolls of fabric, all this wire crap i mean it's just been a junky junky day some days you get good construction and demolition debris that packs down real good but i mean that's a big where's a big 15 20 foot drop right there well, that's all i know to do y'all we're just gonna have to keep pushing this mess get it down to the bottom and then hopefully 
we'll have some good demo material come in and we're just going to try to pack it down there like i said get some heavier stuff on it and that's a big hole and that's the best we're going to be able to do y'all this junk just grabs a hold of anything hopefully we haven't got anything wrapped up on the tracks see a little bit of stuff under there on the sprocket we have to get it out later see that's what i'm talking about right there that junk if it ever makes it around there it'll just wind itself and wind it tighter and tighter and tighter and you can't get it out let's check the other side oh yeah hopefully that'll come off i'm just gonna have to watch it but this stuff oh, i hate it look how many many strands of it's out there gets wrapped up on the compactor wheels the dozer tracks you name it <laughs> hey guys they're coming in so quick i can't even eat my stupid little crackers i don't even know where these two loads, loads came from i mean it is just insanity up here today guys but i've got my animal crackers because it's fitting because this place is a daggum circus today man even with the rain and the storms they just keep on coming David just signaled me. Then we got something hung up. Oh yeah, it's an old Dern fabric. That stuff is gonna be the death of me, you guys. Well guys, I don't know about y'all, but I need a beer. 10 hours in that uh, dozer will sure enough put it on you. But we've got her all fueled up, air filters blown out, death fluid topped off. For the, crew, for the Saturday crew tomorrow, they're gonna come in. We just run four hours on Saturday, so it should be a pretty short day, but it's a busy day because everybody tries to come in during those four hours. But I walked over here to the edge just to kind of look at what we, got done today we just had a few trucks come in some five o'clockers and uh, dump some loads for the guys first thing in the morning this happens every day but we got to service the machine so it's just kind of part of it and if you can see over there we've got some concrete trucks dumping out some waste concrete evidently they filled up all of the, the forms for make the retaining wall block so wasting that but other than that it's five o'clock i've got cold beer waiting on me so I uh, appreciate you guys riding along with me today. Hopefully the footage is worth a flip. I didn't have time to talk. I didn't have time to eat. I didn't have time for nothing. So I did the best I could, but we appreciate you guys. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, where you're from, all that good stuff. Other than that, we appreciate you. We'll see you on the next video. Take care, y'all.